Now you know that you are in the curriculum class, is that right? Yeah. Are you teaching for any time from first through fifth grade in this class? Okay. So I am overseeing the uh, curriculum for first, for, for three years old up to uh, fifth grade in our archdiocese. So not only just the Asian parishes, but for the whole diocese. So uh, my website later, I'll show you, that's where I keep uh, all the lessons and then you can download and you can use uh, afterwards. So what is the curriculum? Can somebody uh, give us some clues? Series of lesson plans? Series of lesson plans, okay. Oh, the learning objectives. Yes, so weekly lesson, right? Because um, not only the lesson uh, that, that we teach is the curriculum only, but we have like a lot of things. Mm -hmm. All the learning objectives and requirements in your whole year, right? That is called a curriculum. It's not just a lesson. So um, for example, if I take the confirmation program, so what do you think are the components in the year? Is it, do you have them write journals every week? That is a good way because uh, they have uh, the encounter with God when they write journal. If you just teach for information only and then do the uh, test, true and false or multiple choice or uh, answer the short question and then go home, they forget all about that. They never put it into uh, practice. So write journals every uh, week think of something that you learn from the lesson and then you put it in practice and then that will keep them have a connection with Jesus. That is the art of catechizing if you were here with me earlier because you don't teach just for information but for conversion. Only um, they have encounter with Jesus, with God and then they will have the conversion. So what's the other, um, the next element? Do you require them to go to Mass weekly? Yes. So if you just have them class uh, uh, lessons and then go home and don't have mass, that is not the, uh, all the requirements we have. And how about saint projects? Do you have them do saint projects to uh, select their saint name for the confirmation? And how about service projects? Do you have them do? Some of you nodding down your head, so that means you not only involved in elementary, but you you teach the older levels too. And then how about prayers? According to our Archdiocese, we have a chart on our website, uh, list out what grade, what age, what prayers they're supposed to know. So we don't mean to have them uh, memorize, but we mean to have them learn by heart. That means they understand, and then they uh, can participate when they participate in Mass. Retreat, right? You you um, require them to go to retreats. Some parishes have one, some parishes have two. And other things that you require them. So that is a whole curriculum for the confirmation. Um, and the Archdiocese has curriculum for all grades uh, based on this Archdiocesan curriculum. We only have four big ideas. Is it too bright? Can you see? Can we see that? Oh, you can see them. Um, so, how many of you are already familiar with these four big ideas? Raise your hand. One, two, three. three. So, um, only four. So that means um, most of you are new catechists, right? Okay, so I, I'll be easy on you. <laughs> so, refresh your um, memory if those who already use. Uh, it's good. I have to take uh, like five years in the office to learn this curriculum so that I can go share with other parishes. So now I, I know it kind of well, um, and I love it. And when I share it with people, they love it too because I have a passion about the curriculum. So now I'm gonna share with you. Every year we have four big idea to teach. Can you read the first one? Who is Jesus, Jesus Christ? Christ? That means we get to know Jesus Christ. Can you read the second unit? Big idea. We get to know and love Jesus. Okay. After you know, you get to know a little bit more that you love Him. And what is the third? 
How does Jesus Christ teach us to live a moral life? That is to follow moral life. It's about the Ten Commandments. So you know, you love, you follow, and the last one question: How, How are, are we called, called to become missionary disciples? So you go and share. If you become a missionary disciples, that means you go out and share. So this is the uh, spiral curriculum, and uh, the last unit is a goal for all three other units. You know, you love, you follow, and now we all go share Christ with others. And the part one, we focus the part in CCE, part one CCE. CCE, what does that stand for, by the way? Catechism of the Catholic Church. I have my, uh, you know the Catechism of the Catholic Church, right? Okay, so uh, later on if we have time, I'm gonna uh, have you play a game, okay. Unit two, love. Unit one is cover about the faith in part one of CCC. Unit two, it covers the part two and four of CCC. That is about the seven sacraments and prayer life. Unit three, we will cover part three of CCC. That is the 10 commandments. And unit four, we don't teach like we teach uh, other three units, but uh, this is the goal that every uh, unit uh, we taught has supposed to gear people to become a missionary disciple of Jesus Christ. So be comfortable to share Christ with others when they see others. And this is a spiral curriculum. That means every grade, from uh, three years old up to uh, confirmation, we follow four big unit ideas like this. Every year as they grow older, they get more information. So the topic is the same, but in depth and in width. And it's not only just spiral, it's just crystal centric. So do you see that every uh, big um, idea question has the word Jesus Christ, right? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. So that is Christ center in Christ, Christocentric. Now, the Archdiocesan website, okay. This is the uh, curriculum website, uh, video of, of uh, why we do what we do from uh, Cardinal, about 10 minutes. If you uh, have time, you can view. I'll give you the password. Uh, later and then I will oh, I'm overseeing the early childhood which is age three through kinder and childhood grade one through five or six sometimes a parish um, includes six grade with middle school sometimes they just keep it with the elementary so we have lessons for six here in case if they need and then the younger adolescents is junior high and older adolescents is um, high school or confirmation. So uh, Brian, somewhere in this building, he is presenting that now. I'm gonna click on the childhood and then you will see what we have here available for you to use. We have sample calendar. By the way, my uh, computer already have the password, so write down the uh, username, uh, parish, the word parish, P-A-R-I-S-H, parish. So sometimes uh, when you click on um, any of these, it will ask you to uh, enter the username, P-A-R-I-S-H, and the password is this phone number, 713 713-659-5461. 713-659-5461. So can you the lowercase? Yes, all lowercase, yes. Six Seven one three six five nine five four six one. That is the Bishop phone number from the downtown chamber. <laughs> right, I was like, oh, Bishop, yes. someone's. Uh, could you uh, 
Yeah. Could you say aloud the, the website name so people could? Oh, oh. the website is A-R-C-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-G-H-
that EQ1. Don't be stressed out that you have to teach two chapters. We only select certain pages in those chapters that uh, can point you to answer the question better. So um, it's much, much, much better now. And many parishes has um, implemented this new curriculum and then they always give us good feedback that, oh, we don't have uh, stress anymore because we only have no more than seven. That's a, this is a rule, no more than seven jumps or concepts in each week lesson. So we pick out the, the curriculum consultant from the Archdiocese who is an experienced um, public school um, teacher. She uh, integrate education methods and then with the CCE. So it makes it so um, much better and makes sense for the kids to learn. Not just sit there like the old way, ask, answer, ask, answer, but now we have activities built in the, uh, the lesson. And also good news, uh, if unit one evaluation, you see here, do you see here? We used to have unit tests, right? After we taught a unit, we give them tests, but no more tests for this curriculum. We only uh, assess them or evaluate them uh, in a way like a review week. So we have them work in groups or in pairs. Um, this is one of the uh, way. For example, if we finish unit one, we can uh, give um, individual or in pair or in group come up with. So I put Jesus in the middle. That means unit one, we learn who is Jesus Christ, right? So in a big poster, if you have a big group, so put the picture of Jesus in there, and then you can ask the group to fill in all the pedals around what they learn about Jesus Christ in that unit. And you have the incentives uh, box, treasure box, so whichever group that finished early and have the most correct information about Jesus Christ, you give them prize and then they love it. They, they love to learn with the uh, uh, positive enforcement. So we don't uh, like wagging finger on them that said, okay, next week is test week. Go home study, okay? If you fail, then you're gonna repeat this level again. We don't do that anymore. We don't use the word uh, fail or pass this, uh, with this curriculum. If people uh, didn't meet all the requirements, we tell them that maybe you uh, need more time because this year you don't have time. You have extra curriculum uh, uh, out there, so you didn't have time to come to this. How about next year? We do it. Uh, we're always here to serve you, so don't worry. Tell the parents too that uh, I think that your child needs more time to prepare. Yes. Uh, what I'm missing from all of this is this is all going to be new to me. Is, uh, are you not teaching the liturgical year? Oh, we do. We do. I will go down to the calendar. There are liturgical lessons. Thank you. Yes. So, um, with the concept of uh, no more testing, we try to encourage the students to have a good experience of learning about God. Uh, we meet them where they at. So when there is a um, unit one evaluation week or the review week, you just go around and grade them like overall that they have participation points with the group and then correct answers as a group or in pairs or individual. So you don't want it to be like exact, oh, eight out of 10 or uh, five out of five. So you fail, you have to uh, make up this uh, unit test. That's too much pressure. Um, they already have enough pressures in the, their academic school. And the only place that they hope that they can come and uh, undo uh, all those uh, burdens in their heart is to come to God. And then when they come to you, you, you think you are the king or queen in the classroom and then you say, study, if you don't study, don't come back next week. No, we, we are uh, God's extended hands of love and mercy. We don't want to uh, make them scared of coming to a school or church school. Yes. So is there an, actually a unit test that uh, the, the instructor have to be, uh, have to get out to uh, students? 
here or not? No, we so, don't have so split. So the rule, uh, okay. So yes. the, the, the rule changed. Like yes, the rule has changed. Instead of uh, like unit tests, we grading them. Uh-huh. Now we are just like uh, going around and yes. uh, ask them to, to answer. Yes, and coaching them. If they don't understand uh, the, the, the question, then, then you can coach them in a teachable yes. moment right there. And the unit test and uh, quizzes in the book, you can use it as in-class homework or in-class activities to just reinforce what you just taught. So we can skip around because some of the information in the new lesson plan here, we don't cover, and then they include it in the unit test in the book. You can skip that question. You don't have to. So only the, the, the key targets that we teach in the lesson, you test them. Like have them do it as a drill sheet activity in the classroom. Um, we do have ideas for you how to conduct your evaluation unit test. So this is just one of the ideas, okay? There's many others, so I'm gonna show you from the website too. But now we go down to the uh, uh, lesson, under the calendar. The, um, earlier, uh, you asked about the liturgical lessons. Here we already have All Saints and All Souls liturgical season. So we have um, the key targets that you teach from the website. Here, so we have the All Saints also lessons. And then when you come to the big idea unit two, big idea, we only have to teach two lessons. And we already, oh, actually three lessons. And we already selected out three uh, chapters from the textbook for you, highlighted there. And then, any questions? No. And then we have the age-appropriate common uh, prayer. This one doesn't allow me. I used this uh, this uh, the, the highlight last year oh. exactly like this, but according to the uploaded book, yeah, it doesn't match sometimes the chapter. Your load uh, R C L B, and this is the uh, um, uh, Loyola Press. So. You have to look at the. Yes, uh, the chapter the name is 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 the same. Oh, okay. Here, when you open the uh, unit one here, here is the uh, lesson plans. Okay, so there are options of publisher. Okay. Okay. Now you see the word perish. And the password is in the phone number 713-659-5461. And another password to download the lesson plans. So this is um, for your catechist, uh, no, for your DRE to download everything for you, ready. Uh, okay, here is the, the liturgical lessons on the website here. We have it, load here and the big unit one idea lessons here. I will open one lesson for you to see. For example, grade two. This um, password is an extra password that uh, when you finish the uh, three modules online, two hours each, uh, you can stop and uh, resume any time about uh, the lesson plan so that you know all the uh, shorthand um, abbreviation that we use in the lesson plan. So this is example grade two. See on top, grade two, unit one, EQ one, and unit one big idea is who is Jesus Christ? And EQ one is what do you know about the life of Jesus Christ on earth? So the, all that you see, uh, the uh, key targets that we need to hit in that week is here in the middle column, the grade two, the white background. And the uh, left column and the right column is to let you know that uh, they already learned from first grade, what here, and then they will learn from uh, third grade next year. So you don't try to cover everything. You just try to cover the current grade is grade two. And imagine, all they need to know for that week is only four key learning targets. U1 stand for uh, understanding one, or K1 stand for knowledge one, and you see all these numbers here. Um, 
there are uh, training online that you can uh, uh, understand what they are. But the first number always tell you the grade. So you see the middle column here, all start with number two, that means grade two. And then over the next uh, year, you see grade three, first number, and also down here, grade three. So in the left co column, you see number one will be first because it's grade one. So that is the key. If you see A3, that means age three. If you see MA, that means mature adult. So when you take the um, online training, they will explain it to you, details, all of these. Uh, but now you focus on grade two, you teach only four unit, uh, uh, key uh, targets. Can you read? If you can, read together with me. Jesus, Jesus is, is the, the model, model of, of love and, and goodness. goodness. So that is already the answer for the question. Who is, oh, what, uh, what do you know about the life of Jesus Christ on earth? He is a model, model of, love of love and goodness. goodness. And what else? He, he is God, God and God man. Amen. And what else? He Jesus had a human family. family. What else? Mary, Mary is, is the mother of God. God. So, only four main points that you need to teach that week for second grade about Jesus alive on earth. And here you look down in the lesson. I will. Uh, uh, bring it down here so that you see. This is the, the full lesson plan with teacher talks on the, this. And then whenever you see the blue hand here, that means we have activity adapted uh, for the uh, different learning styles, ADHD or autism kids. But believe me, other kids, they love to do activities with hands-on like these pictures and uh, um, uh, clip art. So use it for the whole class. Don't separate them. Oh, who has ADHD? Who has uh, autism? <laughs> Let's do this and the rest. No, we now a day in the public school, they are um, including the, the, the uh, di different learners. Uh, so in the uh, CCE, we do the same. We don't exclude anyone. So whenever you see the blue hand with some um, uh, instruction, then you can uh, refer to the end of the lesson. So here we list out the materials you need. We need the Bible, the children's Bible here with the pictures and with the, some of the uh, explanation according to their um, age appropriate and some of the lesson for them to apply in their daily life. So we use this for the elementary uh, uh, level. So if you could purchase for yourself. So when you get that? Uh, you can just type on the Catholic Children Bible and then it will pop up in the, yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's uh, from St. Mary's Press, uh, but then you can buy it uh, yeah, anywhere. And then you, by, by looking at the materials needed, they already, point you to lesson two and seven right here, right? Mm -hmm. So you already know. And now um, they tell you uh, with the bilingual textbook here, you don't need to know, but uh, those two people, uh, ladies there, they, they will have to help them, the uh, catechist to refer to the, the bilingual book. So we also have a song. Uh, ask your DRE if you have access to um, songs online so that you can play on the phone for your class and uh, they even tell you to do uh, get some art paper and uh, crayons for your activities in this class so it's um, the a sign of the cross this is grade two so some of the kids they don't know how to do the sign of the cross uh, so we have uh, all of these handouts at the end of the book um, at the end of the lesson here you see Number one, two, three in order for making a side of the cross. And now we go to the uh, actual lessons by open with a prayer. So always set up like a, a little corner for prayer so that we can have uh, everybody focus one uh, uh, point.
point in the classroom and of course remind them of God's presence here with them, with us. And here we have the teacher talk for you as learners to quiet their minds and hearts as we pray together. And then practice the sign of the cross uh, earlier than now you do it. And then you can do the, the prayer that uh, we already have here or you can do on the PCG page 188. That means Parish Catechist Guide, page 188. We have the prayer together here. Or you can start off uh, with, uh, on the first day, easy prayer, uh, like uh, Our Father. Or you can come up with your own spontaneous prayer, like Dear God, like I did earlier. So be creative on the first day. And as you go throughout the year, you can help them pray uh, the um, basic prayers, like the act of contrition, so they later on they can go to confession uh, with ease, so they don't have to memorize so hard. And now we engage. The next step of the lesson is engage them to the topic that you're about to teach. So we have the bold question here for you, catechists, to ask yourself, how might I focus my learners on this lesson's topic and connect it to their lives? So what is the topic of this lesson? What do you know about the life of Jesus, Jesus Christ on earth? So we... Uh, Go to page nine. All the steps here on the textbook. That's for your catechist guide. CG is catechist guide. And then that's for your idea how to engage the kids to the topic. And then you explore with the kids of what they know about this lesson topic. So you ask them, who is Jesus Christ? And you pause a, a little bit and then let them answer, engage them in the activities above, like the pages that we say earlier here, get start, set, set the stage, get started and connect. And then, now this is the uh, main part of the lesson. What question do I expect learners to be able to answer by the end of this lesson? This is for you to ask yourself. And you Post the EQ question or essential question on the board. What do you know about the life of Jesus Christ on earth? This is the, the main part of your lesson here. So after you post it on the board, you explain it by going um, through the K1, K2, remember that the chart, I mean the column in the middle, K1, K2, U1, U2, those four key learning targets that you need to cover. And then we will point you to your textbook, Parish Catechetical Guide 233. And then we also have uh, scriptures in here, so you find out in here, to support uh, the key targets of this lesson. And then after you finished, you check for understanding. Check for understanding, that means now, what do you know about the life of Jesus Christ on earth? You ask them. So after I explained it to you through my textbook and then the uh, reading the parable in the Bible, do you have an idea of what did Jesus do when he lived on earth? So let them, uh, by the way, the curriculum that we use, uh, we, we don't just say a statement like we used to see in the textbook. They said that unit one, Jesus Christ. But we pose a question, we uh, provoke their critical thinking, like make them think uh, critically. So don't, don't just give them the answer. Unit one, we're going to teach you about Jesus Christ, but we will ask them, what do you more know about the life of Jesus Christ, unit one? So make them think, don't just uh, give them the statement. So everything we will ask, we will ask them and make them, make them think. And now distribute the life of Jesus, hand down for learners to refer when they answer the question. So the life of Jesus Christ, hand down. So what do you know about the life of Jesus Christ on earth? He is a teacher, he is a healer. If you don't have a color printing, you can just print one and then you show it to the class. 
because after you refer to page number in the book you teach and then the Bible so now you ask them and then you show them just this uh, color paper so you know that he is a teacher right and then he is a uh, healer right because from the Bible and from the book that you just uh, taught and the next step is evaluating so ask yourself what can I ask my learners to do that reveals their understanding of this lesson so this is the part that you do the uh, in-class homework right, ha right now so we will go to the lesson 7 chapter 7 and a certain page number here and then the assessment activities on the website of the uh, publisher uh, begin with the bullet number three even that 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 specific and then you distribute helping hands helping others hand out at the end here yeah. helping others at home so this is the assessment time so it's like um, working in group or in pairs or by themselves so that you can have the handout to to the group or each individual or pair it's up to you and then let them uh, do the um, evaluation of the lesson together what do you know about the life of jesus christ on earth you always ask them that focus question of the lesson the extend and enrich you don't have to do it if you don't have time. It's uh, optional. But uh, we also point you to certain pages here that in, um, can reinforce your lesson. And the last step of the lesson is debrief or self-reflect. Now you ask yourself, can my learners answer these questions uh, better now? And can they connect their answer to this unit, big idea? So not only just that weak EQ question, but make connection to the unit one big idea. So return to the lessons EQ question. What do you know about the life of Jesus Christ on earth? You pause and allow them to answer. And after everybody or nobody wants to say anything, you summarize the lesson, you say, Today, lesson showed us that God gave us the most precious gift of his son, Jesus. Jesus lived on earth and was kind to everyone. The last line here is, his, is their homework for that week. He wants us to be kind and show our love to our family and friends. So, teaching for conversion is at this point this part because if you just teach all the information and then you close it with that and then no uh, direction for application they don't remember so the last uh, lines here he want us to be kind and show our love to our family and friends so go home this week that is your homework write it in your journal so you buy a little nice journal from Ross uh, store it's very cheap like $2.99 very pretty with stationaries inside and, and uh, uh, Bible quotes inside of each page. Give it to your kids. And then this is your, uh, like, your dialogue with God. Every week you write out uh, what you're going to practice that week. This week, go home and show kindness and goodness and love to your family and friends. And keep track so that at the end of the week, you could go back and see, oh, how did you do? Good. Thank God for it. If you didn't do so well, ask God for help next time so that you can um, grow in God's love and God's teaching. And then maybe next week when they come, you can just uh, need to uh, have a show on the table and then you go around and you put a, a grade that they, they did their homework. We don't need to like exactly uh, five over uh, ten points and if you have time to read that journal to put some comments on there they love it 
that's how we use with the confirmation students. They uh, they write and that we know um, their needs so that we can uh, help them spiritually. So with little kids, they love to to write and then you comment back too. So they said, oh, I helped my mom with the, her grocery from the car to the kitchen. And then I felt good about that. And then my mom uh, said thank you to me. And then she hugged me. So I told you comment, wonderful. Uh, continue to do good like that with everyone uh, in need. So you give them some encouragement to be good, to put in practice what they learn. And you close with a prayer. Go to the, the book. We have the closing prayer. Or if you wanted to come up with uh, your own spontaneous prayer, or I, I always do on my first day of uh, class, it's a basket and hand out little pieces of paper and everybody write their a prayer intention for that uh, week or that year so that we can pick out and then we pray together as a class I read it aloud and then we all can um, in, in one mind and heart to pray for that intention and then we close with um, uh, whatever prayer that the basic prayer that you want them to read every week so that they can memorize it like our father Hail Mary glory be and act of contrition um, this is the uh, last part for parents' connections. Um, I'm not sure if you have uh, emails of the parents, but if you do, you can email them that this, this is it. This only uh, a few paragraphs here. That's it, only this. Uh, tell them that, oh, this week your child learn about uh, what the, do you know about the life of life, Jesus Christ on earth? And then we focus on session seven, and these are the MA, see that MA stand for mm -hmm. mature adult. Mm -hmm. These are the key points for adult language, uh, what your child learns. So keep them um, um, on the same page with what you taught in the classroom with your kids. With the kids, there are only four points that they need to know, but for parents, of course, mm -hmm. as adults, they can learn more from uh, here. That is the uh, website, the lesson plans and all the liturgical lessons here we have. And then we have the sample calendar that you can go in and uh, edit. But I believe your DRE has it for each grade. And then here is the poster that you can print out and post in your classroom uh, when you teach a unit one. So when you teach unit two, you add more. Uh, we have it all here and then you teach unit so you add up and then make it a, like a cycle, complete cycle for your whole year. And then um, you are welcome to explore any of these and um, the chart here for uh, grade. They, they learn uh, by heart. It doesn't mean that they have to memorize uh, because by third grade, they should uh, know the Nicene Creed. That means the prayer we pray at Mass on Sunday, it's long, sometimes we get lost if we pray by ourselves, so we don't expect them to know, right? But then we explain it to them. The first paragraph, we believe in who? God the Father. The second paragraph, we believe in Jesus. Third paragraph, we believe in the Holy Spirit. And then show them where they can have access when they go to church, they can follow. Where's the book in the lesson, uh, in the missal in the church? So this is a chart for both um, up to high school. And then we also have the um, basic prayers that already have framed nicely. So if you can print out for your class according to the chart that they need to know, uh, for example, the act of contrition, here's nicely. And then if you don't want it to waste paper, you can combine them together somehow. But we frame each prayer like this. All prayers, basic prayers that require them to know, not to memorize, okay? Make sure that don't scare them. If they understand, that's good. Here, the uh, suggested, oh no, I, I forgot to show you the unit uh, evaluation options, ideas. Here, it's uh, in the zip folder, all the lesson and then uh, the unit idea uh, for you to do the uh, reviewing week. 
this is another way called webbing sketch. So they can just sketch on their paper or their notebook, or, or you can provide a poster for the whole class to do it like this. So you put the word Jesus in the middle and then just branch out whatever that they learn from unit one. That is one option. And also this, here's another option. Uh, with blank and write the word on I know that Jesus Christ in the center here and then let them fill the petals complete the sentences uh, for Jesus unit one that they know or those who love to do poem we have the rules to make poem here and then this is a sample of Jesus unit one is about Jesus so they have the Jesus poem here and for those who like to do art and craft, uh, we know that Jesus show us love in the big uh, unit one idea, right? He show us how to love and heal and forgive people. So you can write the word Jesus or love and then let them do the pages inside like a little booklet and then let them write what you know about the life of Jesus Christ and then write it all and then keep it as unit one uh, memory book for them to, to review. And then for those who like to do uh, the uh, uh, pictures, you can have them cut these out and then, and then glue it on the petals. So make uh, it better. We try to reach all diverse learners. Do you know that um, there are eight multiple intelligences in the, um, us people? We learn differently. So they have grouped them by eight different uh, learners. Some learn by pictures, some learn by music, some learn by uh, movements, some learn by uh, words, some learn by natures, some learn by uh, hands-on. Yes, so we try to include different activities that we can reach different learners. So the new curriculum, it's up to date with the um, met, um, 21st, 21st educational uh, methodology. Can I, yes. Can I um, say something real quick? Yes. Because I had a problem last year because my daughter was learning um, for first communion, first holy communion too, and we came from St. Anne, so we taught the, the prayer in one way, and it's a little bit off, like if it's our father, it's said a little bit differently, mm -hmm. or the act of contrition. But then my book was saying it a different way, and I would like her teacher was like, no, you have to say it the way the school is saying it. But she learned the the other way. But I'm hardly sorry. But they start with my God, I'm sorry for my sins, and her teacher was like, no, she has to learn it this way. And so we had to undo what she was learning because she already learned the act of contrition. She already knew it ever since she was three, and now we have to undo it. In my classroom, I accept it anyway. I told them, parents, whatever way you learned it, just keep it that way. I still take it as the passing. But her teacher is very adamant about, no, she has to learn the way the school is teaching it. And it was very hard for me because they, she knew the prayer and she knew what it meant, but then now she has to learn a whole different way of saying the prayer. And how do you feel about that? Because I just thought well, they should be able to be accepted how they Right, uh, they are not that uh, big uh, difference. So um, I would say either prayers are fine. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay, so I was okay to say that because I didn't. Okay. Maybe it, the teacher is too strict about that, so you can explain that it's hard for for her to switch back and forth location and no, okay, I have to pray this. Uh, it, it's not many people, I mean, not many students uh, in the same situation, like going to the both uh, schools. Mm -hmm. So with certain cases, maybe ask for understanding from the teacher. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. And then we also have suggested video here by unit. So if you wanted to um, have them uh, watch a, a video according to um, the lesson or topic that you teach, we have it here title we don't have it as link because sometimes they take it down from their link 
So we just give you the title and you can search and then you, wherever that you can find, you can show them. Uh, up to 12th grade too. And then we also have uh, the scriptural passages for each unit. So if you uh, have time on the uh, review week, you can have them do a skit because yeah, that is one of um, the, the learner uh, different uh, learning styles. They, they like to do skits, dramas. So on the, the week that we have more time, we try not to explore um, all different uh, learners uh, uh, so that we can uh, meet them where they at. A lot of here about Jesus. Okay, so every unit we uh, provide you uh, enough material to cover. And uh, the unit four, unit one, two, three, it's the same, like we, we have uh, lessons picked out for you. Unit four, we don't um, have pick out uh, the lessons for you. It's about uh, the project, the discipleship project, so you can help them apply whatever they learn. And here is uh, from uh, Christ the Incarnate Word. They do as a whole school. They bring old jeans to school and uh, cut down mm -hmm. to and make the slippers or shoes and send them to um, third world country. And then also we have uh, the uh, parish, um, Most Holy Trinity Parish. They uh, based on Pope Francis document on Laudato Si, which means care for the common home, like the earth, the environment. So they assign each grade a project. They do it by grade. So for a kindergarten, they do um, toilet roll feeders. <laughs> Second grade, uh, first grade, they do the uh, bird house from the uh, plastic bottles. Second grade, they do homemade dog treat biscuits, donate to SPCA. Third grade, they do bee hotels from old mugs. Fourth grade, they do uh, butterfly plants from newspaper products. Try to um, <coughs> save the earth, the environment. So fifth grade, do reduce, reuse, recycle, poster awareness. Fifth grade, sixth grade, they do pollution study awareness. So you can come up with like basic uh, project for your uh, students. Which classroom will take care of cleaning the uh, church after mass? So make sure papers, bulletins picked up. So that is one of the uh, service projects. Or festival, you can have kids come out and help. So we try to um, um, bring them to application instead of just in the classroom. Okay, all these uh, are the year that you teach, and then of course you teach the lesson on circle of grades, right? Mm -hmm. You teach them how to uh, protect themselves from danger, and uh, stranger danger. Okay. That is in unit three, but you can always teach from the beginning of the year so that they can pre uh, prevent it happen. You know, anything on the website you are. Um, welcome to access with the password I give you, but for the full lesson plan, until uh, you have um, three modules online that, that in Capernaum, that now you have Capernaum, you just go on the Capernaum, and then you check the um, calendar here, and I listed on top, these three are required, and then you will know the lesson plans better after that, but your DIE have access to the lesson plan, so you just ask them. I I have to give it uh, after you do the three modules and if you ask your DIE they will um, give you the, uh, the lessons because they download it. But if you uh, personally, if you finish those three um, modules on Capernaum, you can email me directly and then I can give you the access to us. Okay?
You don't have to pay. Oh, the three pay $10 each, uh, the, the, the module. Why we keep that uh, password protected? It's because uh, we had an agreement with the publisher that is their in intellectual property. So we can't just give it out to anyone unless they buy the textbook. And we know that you are in the school, uh, you buy that textbook, and then you have done the uh, adequate training. So you, uh, you will get the access. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Okay, quickly to wrap up, you see that the old uh, tradition uh, classroom is like this. Everybody sits still, and the teacher is very, looks mean, right? <laughs> but in the uh, uh, modern time, now we flip classroom. We let the two students stand up here and present, and then we let them watch video instead of just the textbook and read and write an assignment. And then we let them sit in a group and discuss. So it looks happier than that one. So don't try to go back to the traditional classroom and make them uh, scared of going to learn about God. And then the effective lesson is component of content and method. So content I mentioned earlier is from the Catechism of the Catholic Church. And then the publisher have select them out by grade. So you buy the, the textbook, you good. And then of course, from the Bible, and then uh, St. Paul said that we preach Christ the crucified. And from our curriculum consultant, she said that no more than seven gems of concept in each lesson. So she already picked out in each of the lesson. And the method, this is for your DIE to pick out the, the approved textbook from USCCB uh, list. So it's not your job to do that, so don't worry. And then the method is try to include the multiple intelligences in them. So those who sell smart, they like to write journal. Word smart, they like to write um, um, uh, question and answer. Uh, those who are logic smart, they like to uh, do things systematically, like Ten Commandments. You have to go in order, right? So those who like nature smart, sometimes you have them go outside, field trip and pick out rocks and leaves and say that, oh, these are God's creation, right? So when you teach creation, you have let them experience outside and picture smart, body smart. Earlier, I used body smart a lot when we have a big um, gathering. And then music smart too. I, I love music, so I, I incorporate that. And people smart too, when we do icebreaker or small group. So you try to include all different uh, um, styles so that you can reach everyone. Okay. And remember, this is the uh, statistic. Lecture, only 5% that they can remember from your lecture. Reading, 10%. Audio, you think that you, uh, you have let them listen to a video? No, it's just only 20%. Demonstration, only 30%. When you demonstrate, like earlier, I, I held this up, right? And then I have the, uh, in my previous session, so when I teach about Eucharist, I, I bought the big clay so that I can ask them to make for themselves their own. So these are demonstration, but it's only retain 30%. Uh, so if you go down the list, group discussion, 50%. Practice by doing, like doing crafts and arts, uh, or whatever that let them do, 75%. And finally, have them teach others. It will help them remember the material most. So try to incorporate everything in every lesson as possible. Okay. I have a, okay, this is for different textbook. Who's using uh, Loyola Press, like Fighting God, okay? So the lesson I showed earlier, that's Fighting God. Who's using, um, uh, sadly, Christ in Us? Who's using uh, uh, Christ Ally? 
That's the only that's the line. Okay. That's OSB. Who's using uh, that's all we from RCLV. Yeah. Oh, RCLV. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we have the uh, the uh, blue tab that we saw earlier. Uh, so you click on that and then it should be uh, correct. Okay. So with different textbook than those that are on the website, you can just look at the table of the contents in front of the textbook, select certain chapters, select certain concepts, and then of course your, your DOE already selected the, the, the approved textbook uh, from um, the USCCB, so you don't worry. But then this is a process of different textbook than the one that we have on the website. You follow these steps. And then you look at the um, the key targets that in the middle. Uh, the, there's three columns. Remember, mm -hmm. you they are the same for all publishers. So you just look at that, whatever grade you need, and then you fill in with your page number from the chapter. So you don't have to teach everything in the chapter. That's it. Clear. Thank you.